yeah, I've heard things about this game being actually pretty good, despite the movie associated to it being uh, pretty awful. So I don't know really what to expect here. I know that it's a Metroidvania, but let's give it a look. The title theme is pretty good at least. Project Dimensions are a rare breed, trying to identify and react to uh, situations far beyond typical understanding. Trust you prepared for your first mission, Agent Joe. Oh, you're about to enter a world of ghosts and monsters. That, that went too fast. Somewhere in Iraq. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> that ain't gonna end well, is it? Agents, we lost, uh, Agent, we lost contact with our ground team several hours ago. Due to a developing situation elsewhere, you'll be going in alone to investigate any signs of disturbance and re-establish contact with the ground team. It's an area of great importance and step must be taken to maintain the security at all costs. Good luck. Okay, that's some very, uh... Game Boy Advance Metroid textures there, isn't it? Alright. Can't crawl. Just kinda sits. Oh! Oh, we can crawl! Okay. I wonder if this a better played with the D-pad, though. Might be. Okay, that's just automatically rolling, okay. Inventory, nothing, nothing else. Shoulder buttons are scrolling weapons by the looks of it. Alright! I don't know if the audio is not too loud by the way, chat. But yeah, like I said, I don't really know anything about this game. I know it exists. Um, Skip is almost stable, proceed cautiously. You should be able to jump over any uneven patches with A. Obviously, you remember it is from your bridge jump training. But seven the simulation I failed to work through different beasts. Why don't you get your bearings, locate the ground team, and re establish your communication with Project M? Shoot these things, because I don't trust them. Previous reports from the agents suggest the presence of unnatural life forms in the caverns. May be beneficial to destroy any such entities until we understand what happened to the ground team. If the seem unreasonable, you can focus uh, yourself by pressing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just like uh, Metroid Fusion and uh, Zero Mission done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's better. I've seen some recent uh, things saying that the game was actually too hard for some people, some stuff like that, so I was like, oh boy, we're gonna be in for something. I think he's dead. Agent, there may be ledges in the caverns that you may drop through to proceed. Fully understanding your environment is an important part of any mission. Crouch and press A to drop through, drop through these platforms. Similarly, you can jump up from beneath them while standing. Not pretty straightforward. But yeah, like I said, when I remember when this came out, people were actually like, huh, this is pretty solid. Oh, you already had it things on set. Of course, I haven't even seen the movie, but I know it was hot garbage. Like, we didn't really need a movie, uh, a mummy reboot movie. And for some reason they made a mummy a woman too. Like, I'm not, still not sure what the reasoning was with that. I mean, it controls well enough. Okay, that didn't do any damage, but learning that is a bad idea. Kevin's often have narrow passageways, but we can't let the delays from reaching our agents. If you find yourself unable to proceed, try crouching and pressing A to roll. This should allow to squeeze into a small space and be always impassable. Or just press the roll button, I guess. There is a movie for this game, yeah, but we don't talk about the movie because it's horrible. Ah, Creatura. All will die. Oh. Am I going to finish this? I don't know how long this game is either. I'm 
Like, I think I saw someone saying that he beat it in five hours, so... Two streams, maybe, I imagine. Maybe three, because I don't know what I'm doing. Agent, come in, Agent. If you can hear this transmission, I'm seeing un uh, uh, unprecedented readings across the entire region. Abort mission and return to the drop point immediately. I repeat, uh, repeat return to the drop point immediately. Um, yeah, I've got a little bit of a bug problem here, sir. Oh, just like literally return to the drop point area, okay. Five hours is maximum, alright. Well, let's just say two streams. Depending on how the boss fights go. I honestly wish I could aim and, and run. But like holding the uh, direction in, basically. So a lot of damage there. Stand in front of him while I'm trying to shoot him. Oh, he can run this way too. Right. He's run into the box mine, are they hard? Achievement, uh, achievement unlocked. Close call. Skip to Kevin's in Iraq. All agents report to duty immediately. Code red situation currently in progress. Commands will have been issued drop, uh, drop coordinates and organized. Oh, jeez, that goes way too fast to read. This is the reason Project Jim exists. We are the only one line of defense against the evil. We have planned, um, we have trained for this moment, and we will see victory. Agents are authorized to destroy any monsters they encounter and utilize ancient relics which, uh, which can be secured on site. Doing so may prove the difference between survival and birth, face, wars, and death. Jesus. <laughs> the mission project is to locate and subdue Princess Amanat by means necessary. Remember what this is. Well, remember what happens if we fail. Something like that. Okay, I wish I didn't auto scroll, but sure. You played this game, but you didn't care about the story. I mean. I mostly feel that story shouldn't be much of a thing in Metroidvania. Like. I remember wanting to stream uh, Bloodstained like half a year ago, something like that. But I just didn't like how much dialogue there was, really. Like, I felt it was doing more visual novel simulated than actually playing the game. And I know my favorite Metroid game also has a lot of dialogue, but the balance is fine in that, I would say. Good day from you, Agent. I trust you were able to locate the terminal with a little trouble. This is a safe room. We can resume the mission here at a later time and we can use it to track your progress in the event you become compromised. Several protegium techs uh, touch down ahead of you and you should be nearby. The rolling equipment which will be extremely useful during your mission and the, imp uh, and the imperative is that we're able to send a chance against MNF's power. Look for these texts as you get a feel for the area. We're monitoring you from the protegium headquarters and I will keep contact with you about relevant information. Keep your wits about you. And I, can, and I can destroy the candles. Alright. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. I need a sippy. No. That's not good. So, would you say this is a good game or not, Zaza? Oh look, it's rats. Of course it's rats. Why wouldn't it be rats? Or is it just fine or acceptable? I need to get used to these jumps a little bit though. Okay, that's just blocked off. Yeah, it is a good game, alright. I'll take your word for it. 
No. Leave there. No. Why do you just let the thing talk? Why don't you just shoot it? Cutscene disabilities, I swear. Those are somewhat tanky. I mean, I'm not expecting too much from here. I heard it was fairly, uh, fairly solid, so I'll just use that as guiding ray. I think shit is just respawning. I was just gonna move on, I guess. Unless they can climb walls? No, they can't climb walls. Super zombies. Alright. Is that kind of enemy? I can't really go up here quite yet. I need a double jump or all. Do I have a wall jump? It doesn't seem like it. I was thinking when I booted this up, like, hey, maybe I should play some Castlevania games at some point. So I haven't played all that much of them, honestly. One thing that bothers me is that it doesn't show the uh, the door entrances on the map, however. Like some map systems do that, but this one doesn't. Which might be annoying. So I'm just going to go into these doors so that they're actually marked. Ah, oh, not another save room? Hmm. It's pretty fast. Such dramatic music for saving the game, though. Oh. I wanted to roll away, not actually save again. Save rooms are marked by red. Also quite often. I've also been playing with the idea to maybe replay uh, Metroid Fusion sometime soon. No, that's probably just going to be a one stream affair anyway. Hey, oh, oh, you can swim. Okay. You don't sink to the bottom of the uh, the water like Sam's does. That's good. You don't even have a name for this guy. He's just called Agent. Jo John Agent over here. Yeah, I would like to play Zero Mission, of a, well, maybe Zero Mission 2 actually, with Fusion again at some point. If there was one game that I would uh, ever call my favorite game, it would probably be Metroid Fusion, wouldn't it? Oh, it's a bit then. No, that looks like a grenade. Throw a grenade with RB. Okay, so they bounce on walls. Hmm. Am I going to need grenades to bomb walls and find secrets, or is that not a thing in this game? It's a good thing to know, at least. Because the, 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 the Metroid part of my brain says bomb everything, you know? And seeing that this is a limited resource, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, I seem to be getting a lot of pickups on them, so maybe it will be fine. Oh, wait a minute. I guess I can open the wooden doors with that, can I? Yep. And it looks like a map or something. Area map. Agent, this is a tech uh, the, the, is a technician here uh, there with you. I'm seeing some water uh, readings on the on their bio tracker. I see. Fortunately, they left the data log behind with the topographical information they gathered. So we'll automatically upload your own map uh, readout, giving you some idea of what's ahead. Please use the data to locate all the three tech immediately. They've all lost contact with the Prodigium and the Fedoras. 
Most known locations have been marked on the map. Proceed these areas immediately in a certain threat level of our men. Hurry, agent. Uh, are the hidden rooms uh, marked or are they just uh, throw bombs and get lucky? I'll well, save it now with the bombs. B bombs? Rope? Oil? I think I'm going to ignore orders and actually go back to the one bombable door that I um, came across earlier. Ow, fish! Ow, fuck a fish. That's all right. Remember the unnoticeable. Okay. I mean, usually they mark vulnerable walls, but some games are very, uh, oh. very annoying with it. And I might love Metroid Fusion, but I will admit that sometimes it has like really vulnerable spots. Actually, yeah, I imagine they actually want you to go back because you can't even reach uh, up higher anyway. I want to save room. I don't need to save room. Oh, actually, no, that was the door. So what I mean by the door's not being marked on the map. That's it's a slight issue I will probably have. Alright, the zombie all the way. Let's just backtrack and see what we can find here. Oh, I, can't, I don't even think I can reach that, no. Never mind. Never mind. I need a double jump or something for that. I mean, the sprites look pretty good to do evoke that uh, Game Boy Advance era. I'm definitely not complaining about that. I still have a uh, Metroidvania game on my uh, Steam waiting list. Well, fish list, rather. That just never seems to be coming out. Another one of those recently actually came out, but we need to look into that. I don't want to go down there, do I? Don't shoot your pink goo at me. Okay, this is gonna keep going on, day. Oh, it doesn't even matter if I stayed up there or not. Feels metal slug, yeah, with, with the way it shoots, it feels like metal slug, yeah. That's a little safe station, I'll take it. I haven't played metal slug in ages either. Is there a collection of metal slug games out there? Because I feel that would be something that they could sell. So there is a tactics game that's coming soonish. Which did look interesting. Assault rifle, swap weapons and die. 
See, does the technician didn't make it either. Proceed with caution in a situation that may be more dangerous than we anticipated. And the weapon you left behind is more powerful than your current rifle. You are probably authorized to use it, as well as any precision weapons you can locate throughout your mission. The ammunition for this weapon is not unlimited, however. Keep an eye out on the ammo counter and collect ammunition dropped by defeated enemies. Alright. Not sure how I feel about it being the eye button, but sure. Let's just see how that works out. Oh, the best can also just dive bomb you. Okay. These best have multiple tricks up their sleeves. And they hit fairly hard too. Um, can I? And this is the ammo drop. Oh, I think it feels a, a bit of a waste trying to shoot the bats with these. I'm even going the right way. Oh, not really. Me now. I can see the knock uh, knockback getting annoying in this though. Oh yeah, see what I mean. Start spinning at your low health really early too. <laughs> and it's only 50 HP. I think I can blow up these metal crates later on as well. Crumbly. Um. Oh, safe station. Sure. The save rooms are frequent, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Above here. These birds are not bird friends. Oh. Helicopter. Is the technician there with you? Very well. We'll need you to convene and continue this mission. You found a secondary drop point. I've ordered several helicopters to remain in the area for emergency extraction. If you need to travel to a different drop point quickly, locate a helicopter and press beat on board. These points are marked in the yellow on your map. It's a quick travel. I see. I see. Also, Metroidvania, I really need fast grapple. I mean, I guess with stuff with Castlevania. Metroid never really has it. Just take care of these zombies a bit faster. Still, a waste of time to fight them now. Can't reach that. 
Jordan Agent Day should have worked out his leg muscles a bit more so his gyms are better though. Oh, it's like knockback. Get in there. Mm, dropping from above, maybe. Yeah. Well, I missed him. That's the mad kid, isn't it? About health pack, yeah. I wanted to say energy tank. Well done, Agents. I see you're collecting the health pack for the technician. I think I have an achievement for that. I was preparing for you. Unfortunately, you're picking up no signs of life other than yours. You must press on regardless. The health pack will increase your maximum health by 100 points. You should be able to find more about the mission by carefully exploring your surroundings. Don't need to tell you more. Health means there's a greater chance of survival. When all three technicians terminated, I fear the situation has progressed far beyond projections. We cannot risk further delay. Locate and, locate and destroy MNF. You can use prodigious satellite imagery to approximate your current location. I've uploaded this data to your map, intercept and engage that agent. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna be there. Otherwise the game would be very, uh, very short. Give me a second, chat. I think the best idea is just to save the, uh, the special weapon ammo until uh, you get to a boss. If anything. Okay, I have to deal with this annoying room again. I didn't think that went through. I don't like that the shoot the, the, the best shoot projectiles though. So that's gonna get annoying quickly. Jeff, I won't wonder if there's ammunition packs or anything to expand your ammo for weapons or if it's just different per weapon anyway. Oh, uh, let's save and see what the boss is all about. Also, I just noticed you can't really see the ammo counter and stuff. Because it's being blocked out by the tree. Well, it says unlimited for this weapon and 80 for this. And two grenades. B bigger gr grenades, uh, would be bad either. Oh, you were all along. Oh. Mm hmm, I sustain my stun sustain my stuff on the living. Do not stand a chance. Do I though? Oh, it's not much of, much of a boss fight at all. Gonna be chasing this goober around until it's time to just fight, isn't it? There's no time, there's no point in missing my time fighting these guys, they just keep on coming, really. Ooh. Spooky forest. How did this ambulance get here? Aren't you in the middle of nowhere? The music so far is pretty good. Oh, 
Well, there's more to this rock, isn't there? Oh, I can destroy the bushes too. I can make a jump, can I? No. This won't be best in infinite, but it really is Metal Slug, isn't it? To check if there's like an option menu somewhere. Uh, sound volume, full screen. It's window or it's full screen. Oh, oh window full screen. Actually, hold on, inventory. There's not a lot of information I'm getting on these things. Also, the next waypoint is pretty far in. This is kind of a missed opportunity. Didn't, didn't have a boss fight there, though. Hmm. Should kind of hit before. Collection 4%, yeah. Alright, skeletons. Also a classic. Those just look like Castlevania uh, skeletons, and you can tell me they aren't. Legally distinct. But these are desynced. Oh, that sucks. Don't throw your whips at me. Come on, dude. That knockback is going to get me killed, isn't it? What oh, not is that? Mickey Mouse, are you stuck in there? Well, Mickey Mouse called in gold by goo. This needs some hard times, I guess. I think this was a movie dying game. Uh, oh, hello, hello to Heracross. With the, uh, the very bad Tom Cruise uh, mummy movie that no one really cared about. Like, I remember the movie was supposed to bring out a uh, some sort of monster cinematic universe. Yeah, that didn't happen anymore. Wonder why. The thing is infinite too. Oh, map. Alright. I'll take it. Cool. There's part things that go down below, but I couldn't really open them, could I? Hmm. Safe room up there, transport room up there. Okay, so there isn't really all that much to find in here. Oh, I don't even think I can get over there. Uh, I go. It's just a save room here. Nah, no, it's not really aliens. I haven't found any bombable walls yet either. I 
think I can make a jump. Oh! Getting purple good again. Yeah, I can make that. Actually, I should go down here. Well, maybe I took it a little bit too literally. Careful, Asian, the tunnel switch is far below the current position and you never survive the fall. Get up there either. I need a better jump already. Don't have a double jump, do I? No. Back up we go then. Where did the bed come from? I even got to the, uh, the the Metroid pools of enemies that spawn. Inspiration is very obvious. Relic, one hundred fifty collect. Oh. Actually, some of the are relic. We've been getting various icons and bobbers from important sites around the world. This area is one of the greatest importance for the Knights of Knights Templar, and left many relics like, the, like that they hidden away. Finalized text suggests there could be as many as 50 of such relics tucked away in tunnels beneath your London as well. London? What do you mean, London? That's the surrounding areas. If you happen to find more, please collect them for examination back and project them. Alright. Can I see that? Well, like 150 collected, but right, it's alright. Alright. Um, I need this to say, I can't tell you if I'm going to get all of those or not. I would say don't count on it. What's this? A hidden tunnel? Remain causes agent, I really suggest very concentrated source of dark energy nearby. One of the safe terminals shouldn't be too far away from your location. Now might be the ideal time to record the details of your missions this far. to go down here, wouldn't I? Because this dumbass can't make this fucking jump. So we know that Samus can't crawl, so what is this guy's excuse? Oh wait, that's rude. I don't know if I can damage boost up there like that.
Dance area does have some good Halloween music, doesn't it? They're just collectibles and nothing else. Oh, okay. So you don't get anything for collecting all 50 of them other than pride and accomplishment. That's sad. That does greatly diminish the interest in gathering them, yeah. Ooh. Bandolier maximum ammo capacity increased. Oh, it's for both the uh, the weapon and the, uh, the grenades. Cool. Cool. I mean, yeah, it's kind of sad that they don't really give you anything if you collect them, so... reason for these platforms to be smoothing the way they do, but... Game logic. Uh, I need to get up higher here. Oh, I don't like these bugs. I don't even think I can make that jump, actually. frames at some of these jumps. This feels like I'm losing frames. It's unfortunate because the game isn't real long. Mm. Oh, come on. These bugs are bugging me. No, you can't make that. So, I was basically going the right way anyway. Hmm. Well. Don't do it. Oh, did I, did, did I just take fall damage? Real pump, you don't really want fall damage in your metroidvanias. Oh, that was also a relic here. Hmm. First of these things I shot was just a... Uh, it's just some ammo, so I'm kind of surprised finding relics in this now. Should be using the machine gun more, but I haven't really found much of a reason to do so. These 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 bats. Oh come on! <laughs> Going down into the darkness, then I guess. I haven't seen any suspicious walls to bomb, however. Okay, yeah, you don't you don't take fall damage, but it just makes sound as if you are. Oh. 
Don't fall into the acid, please. Why is there acid down here anyway? I can feel there's something up here, but I cannot reach it. This guy jumps and annoys me. Flashbirds are annoying. What do you what do you mean flashbirds? Yes, and I'm going back for the five half. There we go. Oh bats. Implying that birds on the flash, excuse me. Oh, this seems like a way of uh, no return of. Oh, never mind. There's a platform rising here. Be down here. Oh, I don't No. Wanted to check my map. I swap my weapon. Not for a grenade. First boss fight? Question mark. You have a little time left to make peace with your gods. My power grows, you shall not comprehend the spectacle of terror shall bring upon your world. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, spider. Classic. Oh, can I just not make these jumps? No, I'm just jumping shittily. Calculated on one of those drops. I cannot shoot a rock, oh my. And I can throw grenades against your ass, so that's good. Yeah, but don't miss them. Fairly straightforward. Ancient evil defeat the egg giant arachnid. It's a bit much calling it ancient evil, though, isn't it? Hmm. Well done. Fuck God, I guess. Scroll of Caffrey. Uh, Click the ceilings by holding LT. Excellent work, agent. Your location of the artifact. The scroll of Caffrey, to be exact. Artifacts are the very powerful relics of surviving from ages long, long past. Due to the critical nature of this mission, your artifacts use a powers. To many other artifacts in the surrounding areas, locate as many as you can. They might prove to be your only hope against uh, against MNF. The scroll will allow you to climb along any ceilings by uh, any ceilings as well. Oh, by holding LT and RT. RT? Hmm. 
I'm gonna come into contact with the ceiling. Release at the same time to drop the ground. Ah. Uh, but that's looking all buttons. Hmm? It may take some time to adjust to the powers of the artifacts provide. Since there aren't many dangerous life forms nearby, you should be able to uh, safely practice this new ability. Skullcraft you recently acquired allows you to climb along the ceiling by pressing and holding over during a jump. Feels weird because oh, because there's also the diagonal aiming button, and I guess you can just aim down anyway. Hmm. All right. No, it looked suspicious, but I guess it's not. So defeat the spider, get the ability to climb like a spider. Got it. I'm enough is on the move. We've managed to locate her current position. She's moved deep in the ground, likely to find enter the subway network below you. You must pursue her, Agent. Camera's leading downward should be marked in green on your map, but you never survived the fall and ate it. Fortunately, you should be able to find a rappel gear stash nearby one of such cavern. Collect the rappel gear and use it to quickly descend into the... Well, to descend into the tunnels if you act quickly. You may, you may be able to stop him enough before she gains her full power. Spectre, alright. Oh. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, looking at the map, the map isn't all too big for this. And again, Metroidvanias are never really games at all super long. Like Metroid Dread is pushing it with how long they can get. The Hollow Knight is an outlier because that's absurdly long for a Metroidvania. But they're often very short games. I kind of sad though, I wish they were longer. Well, I guess it would also just pet the game time. Oh, there's a big bird on the bird feeder right now. That's not good. I'm looking at the bird yet. I mean, it's fine, I guess, but the food isn't really intended for you, buddy. That bird really isn't intended for you. As long as a bird feeder doesn't fall down, it's fine, I guess. Actually, I should check if there is something here on this side. Yeah, that's one of those big ones, yeah. I'm not sure what their English name is. I know what they are in Dutch, but... I can hang on there too. Yeah, but it can't get that high. How can I? I know, there has to be a way to get up there somehow. I wanted to go up, all I do is falling down. Yeah! I guess so far I can say I'm having fun with this game. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll guess we'll see what happens later down the road. Yeah, there we go. Oi. Oi, that's food! Fine, I'm getting my machine gun out. Okay, Mr. Bones. You're being an asshole! I'm not sure if the... Okay, they did hit him. Ceiling bugs are kind of annoying too, not gonna lie. I 
Shotgun? Shotgun. Alright. Is Gold Drum Metroidvania? No, Gold was an arcade shooter. That shotgun ammo. I was, I was about to say for a second. What the hell is that? That's, sh that's shotgun ammo. Just don't fall down there again, please. There we go. But it plays like Contra. Uh, I don't know, I've never played Contra actually. Oh, don't fall, don't fall down in the asset, please. Please don't budge the asset. Oh, I can't even get further in this area, can I? No. And every time I saw a, sp a playthrough of Contra, I was confused. Like, this game starts with two guys shooting in the jungle. And then all of a sudden they're dealing with aliens. And I'm like, what? What happened here? Same with Ninja, Ninja Gaiden, really. Ninja Gaiden starts off normal, and then all of a sudden he's like fighting aliens and shit. And I'm like, what? Why? Oh, Mr. Bones is not like the shotgun. Okay, that means I can go over there now, yeah. I mean, I know he said that he wanted me to go underground, but... I'm gonna look around a bit more first. Uh, that's where the switch came out of the saving. Uh, hopefully that's not gonna get any consequences. So I'm going to have to wait here until all these bugs have passed because otherwise I'm probably going to fall down because I don't think I can hit him when I'm hanging on there. Getting to hang on stuff. Uh, that's a fast travel point. The room hasn't been in yet. I'm not even sure if I can make that. Can't get there. Hmm, just room to save one on the end. Oh, hello, Wolfie. Bad dog. No, I don't like shotguns much. No, I don't. Okay, they still need only two shots of the shotgun. Alright, fair enough. Just 
to move on the platform, okay, nothing else. The shotgun is a spread gun. Uh. Something tells me these scrolls are just like infinitely spawning. It definitely feels like it. Also, they, they didn't have to animate the bullet casings falling to the floor, but sure, they did. <laughs> I know it's just a save room there, but I want to get there now. No despite. Doesn't even save room. Okay, that definitely what I demand for this. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I should just use the helicopter to go back there. I don't want to check if I can get there now. It's grenades, buddy. I don't think there is. Okay, it's, it's a bad idea. It doesn't really pierce anything. Also, I think I'm only going to have three. Oh. I'm only going to have three weapons on there because the. Uh, well, you can't see it because it's blocked off or big up by the tree, but there's only place for three weapons there. Oh, is Mel still looking for the game with advance? Hmm. I blame that crow. I blame that crow. Don't mind me if you see me shoot a grenade at random every now and then because I'm wanting to switch weapons, but for some reason I press the wrong thing. Chopper. Um, that one should be close as well. Tactical advantage achievement unlock. Travel by helicopter to a new location. Alright. Well, it's a new location, but does this really count as a new location? Also, wait a minute. Wasn't there something blocking the, uh, Bob here. Well, not grenadeable. Grenadeable? Destructible? Hmm. I 
Und ich ziehe die nochmal. Ich bin nur Jump, Rosa, 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 just an extra map get out. Oh, fair enough to go back for. Uh, are there any other rooms I haven't been? I've been not been up there. I guess I can check that. I might have to look for some more uh, Halloween games though, because I know Luigi's Mansion isn't long either. And if this one is only like two streams, then yeah. Then again, last year I kind of overdid it with Halloween streams, because I got sick and I couldn't even finish a minute here. So maybe it's not too bad. Right, I need to double jump for this. Uh, last release of Metal Stick Anthology was on the Wii. Oh, oof. Anyway, I can't get up here, so... Like, he told me to go underground, but he didn't say where exactly, so hopefully this area is fine too. Safe first. I mean, with how much collection releases we are getting these days, surprised we haven't seen a Metal Slug one. Things to get through there. I wonder if I get some heavy duty boots or something to sink through the water. Never mind, I can't even get in here. I tried without killing them, but that didn't work out. So, die. Mm, there's another one of that is actually annoying. Not known for your pacifist routes. Uh, look, I was trying it because it's more effort to, to, than not to kill them, so. Also, is this a slide that my Metal Gear Solid playthrough? Huh? You know, okay, I try to be stealthy. Man, I'm getting bullied for my gameplay, Metal Gear. Wait. I can get up there now.
Calculate the load back, don't worry about it. It's, it's just a shortcut to get up here, and there's a door that I can't open. You can't look into a direction when you're sitting down, that's kinda annoying actually. The ammo I wanted. Sure. That's also just ammo. Look, I'm not going to bother to find all the relics anyway, especially if you don't get anything for it, but. Might as well pick up the ones that I might buy. Have you tried explosives? On those on those gates? Yeah. Actually, I think I did. I'm pretty sure it didn't do anything. It just bounced off. Oh, I don't get in there. Have you tried bigger explosives? Uh, I don't have big enough explosives yet. I mean, I'll probably get better grenades or something at, at, at some point. Um, I should also be able to go to the other area down below here now, can't I? If you called fat man. No, because I shot him yesterday. He told me to laugh and get fat. So here yeah, I am getting fat, I guess. I really like this music though, it's 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 very Halloween-y. Which makes it perfect to uh to, to be streamed right now. I don't even know how to describe it, it just sounds very Halloween-y. What on earth is this? Propel game? Oh, I actually needed to go here. Hold a tomb for the present. Alright, sure. Should have done the pacifist knockdown. Do you even get anything different if you uh, use tranquilizer on, on bosses? Like different story outcomes or different rewards. Like I have no idea honestly. I mean I'm pretty sure he blows himself up anyway, so I'm not sure if it doesn't even matter. Alright, down we go. Whee! And we're back in the London Metro, aren't we? I'm oh, sorry, but you get different gear. Mm. Look, a bit of a book in the station here. And rats. Always rats. Kind of reminds me of Action Verge, actually. It's definitely not a bad thing. I 
I like, I like when we went from like random abandoned castle to spooky woods to uh, London underground. It's an interesting progression we have there. Action Fudge 2 is good, but it's different. And I think I prefer the first game, all things considered. Like, I don't feel the music and the locations were that more that memorable to me for that, compared to the first game. Mm. Oh, I can't even get back up there. Grenade there. There was something down there with that at least. Oh, apparently. I also prefer the music of the first game, really. I don't think the second one really stood out to me. Uh, maybe we should go back first here. What's down here? Zombies. Oh, there's the trash bags. Oh. Okay, this place is pretty big. The only complaint that about the original action verse is that the story gets somewhat confusing. Something. Also, some of the glitch stuff is rather weird and obnoxious to find. Like the uh, the, imp the code input thing. Like, you could find out some of them, but some of them are just like really convoluted and questionable. How are we supposed to know that? Also, it's unfortunate that you could get, like, only get one of three special weapons in the game. Yeah, I don't think I can pick it up at the moment. No, I don't want zombies, zombies, zombies nibbling my ass, please. I don't like that. Good, I'm going back to check this. Not the bandolier. Also, is that how you spell bandolier? We thought it was with EA. Instead of two E's. Supposed to be up there. Actually, versions have this annoying difficulty spike with some of the bosses, though. Like in the final area, it was like this mini boss, I think it was, but it was like really annoying to deal with. Just because of how much damage it did. I know there's even having a lot of HP myself, so... This place just keeps on going down, alright. Something tells me there was not going to be a helicopter in this area too, chat. Just, just a feeling. 
I don't really think a helicopter can reach this area. Oh! Nope, you're not afraid of spiders. There's a bunch of these here. Now I'm going to need double jump at some point soon because I keep getting into these areas I cannot reach. Can't fly anything on it, nope. I wanted you to eat that grenade, but sure. Okay, now I'm just getting hit by silly things. I didn't need to kill you. It's personal at this point. This is a pretty deep shot here. Oh, huh. Ah. I see. Hmm, there's an area there that you drop in from up high. Huh. This is a, this is a safe room down there too. Hmm. Still using a machine gun for some enemies there. Of course, as soon as I do that, machine gun ammo isn't dropping anymore. There's a big one up ahead here. Yeah, there isn't really a good amount of proper science fiction games out there, I feel. Just like I feel there aren't any proper pirate games out there either. Like the best you can get the ship simulator, but I don't want that. Give me a, give me a pirate themed RPG or something. Not that yet. Uh, recently that uh, space uh, trucker game did get released though. That looked interesting. Like I'm not sure it's going to be a fun game to stream a lot of, but it seems like it has good vibes at least. So I might want to give that a look after Spooky Mob is over, if it's not too expensive. I mean, I do want to play Cyberpunk too, but I know that's going to be a big RPG investment and I'm not sure if I'm going to be wanting to settle down for 50 streams of that. And the underground is in one sorry state, isn't it? There's a pathway above this. Huh. Did we even get in there? I could have gotten in there. I played Dozax once uh, and I got to an area that was just like constantly crashing when I wanted to move on and then I stopped playing the game. <laughs> Which was unfortunate because I was having fun with that game but then the game just kind of didn't want to go further so and apparently that was just an issue that everyone was having. 
Keep in mind, I'm talking about... God... 10 years ago? Probably something like that. Enemy density, this is definitely skewing more towards the, uh, the Castlevania approach. So I always find that Castlevania games had a lot more enemies going forward than Metroid did. We're too late, ages. I mean, let's change location and move deeper into the tunnels. It's a little co a little constellation, but there should be another artifact nearby. Examine the surrounding rooms and see what you can find before moving on. You need as much assistance as possible to confront the target. Hmm. I wonder if it always happens. I wonder if it always happens. Uh, it was with Adam at least, but I don't know if it was the first one or not. Might have been. I don't know the franchise well enough to really say. That probably sees all the way back there, doesn't it? I don't remember how it started. Look, it's been a good 10 years, like I said. I think it started in a tower? I'm not even sure about it anymore. Sorry, Jesus. Agent run speed increases. Uh, that's the last thing I expected to... Uh, I think it was Mankind Divided. It says run speed increases, but I don't look that much faster. Oh, it builds up over time. Okay. It's not really speed booster, but it's it's in there. I miss an animation for you running faster though, because it doesn't really feel like you're picking up speed until you actually notice it. Of all upgrades, I did not expect this game to have speed boost. Check the room off, basically. Yeah, the grenade just bounce off on the relic. Don't even have the option to jump down, Sag. Let me break my neck, come on. Um, my neck, my legs, come on. Why did I get up there first? You can just make it if you jump very precisely. Incendiary grenade. All right. Congratulations, agents! You've located yet another weapon. Unfortunately, this exceeds your maximum capacity. 
You'll need to select a weapon to wish to carry with you, leaving a surplus in the weapon cache before you can. And before you can access those weapons deleted from any weapon cache, you should, should you change your mind. So you may return any weapon cache to deal with... Okay. Refill all of your ammunition currently equipped weapons. Well, in case you've been walked in pink on your map for reference. Do I want normal grenades or do I want incendiary grenades? Doesn't take a minute for now. Oh, 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 there's a lot more weapon. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That looks like a flamethrower. Okay, so I'm not full on weapons quite yet. There's one, two, three, four more weapons to be found. Oh. Uh-oh. And one more sort of grenade to be found. Either bigger explosive or ice grenade. Hmm. Oh, you bastard. I should check something. I should check if I can use the incendiary grenades on those other uh, gratings there. Or whatever you want to call them. No, that also doesn't seem to help. Hmm. Unless it doesn't matter for doors. And it's just like a different type of change. Sand driver is more AoE to it it seems, so that's probably fine. Uh now we just need to get all the way back, don't I? Job. Actually, is there nothing in the middle here? I can't even get on that level. Wait a minute, the bat is flying through it. Never mind, I guess the bat just ignores collision. No, actually, you do ignore collision, they've been the entire die miner. Why are you being dumb? Rush into it. Mm, crush. Oh, god damn it! I missed the platform. Great going here. Great going here.
No, don't worry about it. Oh, fuck you, bat. It also looks suspicious, by the way. Not the upgrade I kind of upgrade I expected in this game. This just leads back here, doesn't it? Shortcut from this side. And then no, we did go in here. All right, Spidey. Tell to the uh, speed boosting effect. Here. Oh, yep. Son of a bitch. Eat shit. Let me regain some stuff here while I'm here. Like I really need it, but... Might as well just make use of it. This really feels like I'm playing Mad Way though. Just like shoot the enemies over and over to regain stuff. Some more machine gun ammo. That'd be neat. Come on, that'd be neat. Can we be? Can we be friends? Can you give me what I want? No? Sure. There we go. No! Time to move on. The movement of the uh, acid kind of bothers me. Like it looks like it's moving way too fast.
Shit on fire. Can't you do that? I should be able to make that jump though. Let's go in here. No difficult with hanging on the ceiling? Yeah, I guess I did, huh? Alright, second boss fight. Well, I'm not getting back in there. You were fooled to follow me here. I sent from the pit, bathed in the blackest darkness, I overcome misery and death. I command the power of the void who hopes to stop me. You? Can you survive all land without lights? Would you would you face shoot devours everything? I don't I don't know. I can beat I can beat all of that shit. It goes fast. Oh what the What the fuck are you? Stompy the crocodile. Do you think you're Queen Matt White? What is this? Look, it's quiet. No, 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 no. This is Queen Matt White, but literally. <laughs> I was making the joke, but they do the same in AM to R. <laughs> it really is Queen Matt White. Oh, right, that's funny. Fireballs, though. I'm always stuck with a stupid pea shooter now, though. My first death, I guess. Oh, well, <laughs> my enemy myself died and be resurrected to get my MNF. You've arrived at the location of a fallen agent's final transmission. They should still be in the vicinity, albeit somewhat altered state. You've been reassigned to resume their duties, including locating and eliminating the former main agent known as MNF Control. However, I should procure, procure and use any gear the agent may have been carrying at the time of death, but you advise to use caution. You may have been able to use powerful weapons if you're carrying. Oh. 
Oh, okay, so that's how we do it. So that's how we do that. Oh. Hmm. Annoying. It gives me okay. So b b b John Mummy Agent died, and now it's uh, the second one. I see. First time you see that? Yeah, sure. We've got fear, madness, and death. Oh, that's not misery. Sure. Okay, so if John Agent dies, you just basically become John Agent Two. I see. At least now I know what to expect from this fight. Can't say I like that though. Honestly, I should have just gone back and got more ammo. Carry careful of splash damage too, which I'm not really been doing. Damage in. Yeah, from John Agent to Jack Agent. I should stop thanking these. Which means I will keep doing that. Me. I'm not very tasty. I can. Oh, I'm definitely dead. Alright. Uh, before I go back in there, I should get some more ammo, I guess. So I've got more machine gun.
Oi. Let's get some ammo back. I'm sure I'm gonna, I don't specifically want that though. That I want. Oh, come on. Stupid rat. I'm just gonna say you're a red bastard. So it's basically kind of like Hollow Knight, but you just lose everything, really. Should be able to make that jump, right? Can hang on those, just to be sure. Drain, these names are getting more excessive, aren't they? Aha! Yeah, that'll help. That'll help. And now we refill too. No, we don't. I'll just be able to scrap on the way back, back down again, I guess. Can I have my five health back? Thank you. Picking it from random actors. That's the issue, you should have sent it to Tom Cruise. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna myself an extra drink. Why do I say an extra drink? I'm just gonna refill my glass. Chad, do you happen to know how long Blasphemous is? Because I still got that on the uh, to, to playlist as well. And it's also... Well, I wouldn't really call it spooky, but... Some, some, some disturbing stuff, rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which grenades are actually better against bosses, the incendiary or the normal ones?
What is this creature anyway? Just a giant crocodile or what are we, what are we dealing with? Crocodile gold, Sh sure. That, yeah, I'm to check out. Need a little so back. Sure. I'll take it. SOS, attention all Perdition field agents. Return to headquarters immediately or under attack. I repeat, Perdition is being attacked by monsters under Emma's control. You must watch to advance before the Perdition himself is compromised. All agents report to the Perdition headquarters immediately. Why is in the middle of the front? Sure, whatever. Whatever. Let me check what's behind this creature anyway. Oh, I can't come back up there again. Oh, that's annoying. Some one of these. Well, yeah, we're not going further that way. Man, this is the most underwhelming speed boost ever, huh? Never mind, I didn't kill anyone. Why is the piranhas in the sewers? No, I didn't really want to use that. Sure. of the uh, the buff of those fireballs would have actually opened open helped mm. right, I'll just leave back going to be something above there, but no, it just, just loops around. Kind of sad there was something there, but... Signs I can destroy. How convenient that the headquarters of this organization just so happen to be right up ahead, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm going along. Mm -hmm. I'm still going for a bit. Not sure if I'll get to World of Horror though, maybe I'll just keep playing more of this. Okay, this is some tough dogs.
Yeah, you just fight him. Zombie dog shoe is a classic staple. I to say, why is it an entire area green on the map? This is because it's a new area. Now we're all on the Norakum City here. Oh, great. Your organization is infested by piranhas, mate. Platypus City? What do you mean? I think Australia. Map data, I'll take that. There was a save room on the other side there? Didn't even notice that. Huh. Deeply distinct. At least make it Red Panda City. At least those are somewhat the same ish. Definitely needs better uh, jump ability. Fuck that dog in particular. Fuck you too. Alright, that doesn't roll, really roll off the tongue now, does it? Alternatively, I could uh, stop this for today and play World of Horror. Mm. I don't know. I've been having fun with this now, so I think I'll just continue. Oh! Look at that! It's a height you cannot jump in. Hey, it does say a maybe in the description. I never said I actually would. I want to kill these fish. There's only more fish there. Okay, I don't know 
think it's the best way to go through, but sure. Maybe I get some scuba gear up tonight, who knows. I need to get something to jump because I don't really think I can get out of here this way either. School of Hackett, agent jump height increase. There we go. Oh, you're new! Y'all castle being in. Oh, you explode too. Great. Flaming skulls, how classy. Okay, so some of them explode and some don't. Oh, and he just a spit. I'm touching him. Finally, I can jump. Maybe I should actually go back and see if there's stuff to pick up there. Um, it also looks like it loops around though, so I should be fine. being recruited to the evil overlord's army and all you all you do is just like being a floating skull and explode. Like, I'm not sure if that's a good job or a bad job. Oh brains and jaws, great. You know for a brain you're pretty uh, pretty durable. Feels illegal. How many shots do you need? Hmm, a little better actually. Feel like I'm not going to the place where I should be going. Oh, shrimp! Something tells me I should be able to. I should be getting the, uh, the way to deal with water soon, at least. Because it is getting more and more prominent. Oh. Hmm. Hang in there, buddy. 
Yeah, there we go. Fucking all the incendiary grenades I'm getting. Oh, did they just roll through him? I don't know if there's a thing you could do. Oh no. Jack is called it. C4, join detonate C4. Alright. I do kind of like my incendiary grenades though. Hmm. I mean, maybe that's what I need to uh, blow up some extra gates. I do not know. Doesn't really feel all that more powerful. If I can, I'll probably get the incendiary grenades back because I kind of like the AOE effect on those. I mean, these certainly go boom. Oh, I forgot about this. I won't do that. Yeah. Just gonna run through, run through this one because I don't want to deal with his brains. They're annoying. Bye bye, brain. I guess it's fast. Okay, you can blow them up at C4. Oh, that's kind of lame. Don't really like C4 that much. Ah, uh, I killed something dead. It was in a jar. in a jar. Yeah, the brains are just annoying to deal with, so if I don't need to, I can just ignore them. Oh, I might have C4! Right. Well, this one's all the way through it for no reason now. It kind of feels like you can get in there. No? Hmm. So, like I said, I wish it would mark on the map where those gates were, because now I'm like, huh, where did they even find these? No. Oh. Another one of 
piece. I'm never not going to get hit by those, am I? Hmm, I want you to go back. Alright. Oh, I have to deal with this hallway again. Brains are way too tanky. It feels like a weird thing to say. Aiming down by Yang on there is rather annoying of an input, actually. Oh, well, it goes my C4. seems. Probably go to the save room. There doesn't seem to be a uh, health recharge, sadly. We can only really have the ammo one. Also, I like how the, uh, the health pickups are very legally distinct Metroid health pickups. Different, right? Oh, Mr. Bones, why are you doing me so? Actually, I don't even need to go over there. Screw you. Works, it works, yeah. Like a C4 back, please. Come 
fine. Jump over me, you bastard. Well, I needed C4, but I also got needed air. Screw your headquarters, I guess. I also expected to be in a new area. He still managed to hit me. Impressive. Ah, helicopter. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. We'll, we'll, we'll check the door at the beginning. Tanky. I don't know where I'm supposed to be here. More down here than I expected. guns nowadays. Some good shields. Guys, I'm not worth the effort. So what else is down here? I like how I just kind of chuck. Let's see four in the face. Like, oh yes, here, eat this. 
Water room. Yeah, you know what? I shouldn't even be surprised at that. Get later, don't I? Issue that there aren't any, heal any healing points. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh! Sarcophagus. Yeah, but something tells me I'm not supposed to be down here right now, so I'm going to go back up. Hopefully, not die by flying. Stay in your coffin, sir. <sighs> Fuck you. Oh, damage. Um, I don't have any other areas where I could high jump into thinking I'm thinking right now. Uh, uh that maybe. Please with the door leaving down. It doesn't really. Doesn't really, the door doesn't really say much. There's no to the right there. It's worth checking. I like how the base is under attack and they want me to go there. I'm just kind of ignoring the objective and just fucking around, really. see the map. Uh, the map is also kind of all blo being blocked out by uh, my avatar, so that doesn't help. Oh, that's nice. I do really like the stage's music. It's, it's really good. I like the Halloween vibe it has. I'm glad it's spooky season. I thought you could crawl over that. Because they can't. Yeah. Now 
Yeah, not the most optimal way to get this, but yeah, it works. This also kind of restores my health to a certain degree. first. Oh. Rufus, come here. Oh, you could sprint. Maybe even a new weapon? No, I guess we'll have to find it out. I wonder if the other weapons are... It's in the, um, the intended routes or if they're hidden away. Oh, it's a health kit. Or a health back, rather. Oh, we clearly think it is. It is, and that makes it sad that apparently you don't get anything for getting all those relics. issues with the, uh, the the shadow temple keys in prime 2 than the, uh, the relics in prime 1. No, I will admit there was some stupid relics in prime 1. The problem with the temple keys is that you can't even uh, find them if you're there beforehand because you need a stupid visor for it. Even though if you're in the right, uh, the right location already. It would be a lot better if you could already pick them up as soon as you get there. Uh, there's a hallway with something pink in there, so that's an ammo room. Yeah, Prom D probably did it best, because you could already find some of them. And you didn't even need all of them if you did only wanted the, uh, the main story, basically. Just walk it off. I had a feeling it would be one of them. Okay, that just kind of leads back to the area that we found there. Hmm. Alright. Let's go back a little bit and see what I can find in the uh, small little hallway though. There might be another bundle there actually. The thing is now I'm wondering if I should keep the C4 on me in order to progress stuff. Even though I don't really like the C4 compared to the incendiary uh, grenade. Incendiary. Incendiary. Apparently keep missing you, huh? Well, the people shouldn't prompt you because it's the most linear. Uh, I mean, I 
I kind of get it. I don't hate it though. Ooh, is it a flamethrower? There is a flamethrower. Um. <laughs> Fire. Ooh, I do like my. I do like me a flamethrower though. It's not really war crimes, they're in the monstrosities, it's fine. And just very annoying bugs. Bitch. Yeah, I like the shotgun, but I think I like this more. <laughs> so yeah, well, you like flame throws, sir. Huh? I should just go down here actually. Sure, <laughs> relatively of course. Uh, hey, flamethrowers are great. Okay, these dogs are still fairly tanky. It doesn't really put them on fire though, it just it's just continuous damage. And there's another weapon. Mercury Harpoon, stop weapon to die. That's not very... Uh, Hunt Monsters, now that's a very interesting achievement name. It doesn't really tell me what this weapon does though. Okay, it's literally our boom gun. Hmm. Do I want to use the harpoon gun or do I just want to use the, uh, the machine gun? Hmm. It's trash. Oh. It's fucking Tomb Raider all over again then. Some of these brains are about to lose their cool. I mean, it does linger a little bit. You can use it in the water? Yeah. Oh, I bet it's just amazing. I bet it's just amazing. Uh, I think I fucked up. I think I shouldn't have fallen down here. I'm going through the brain room again. Now even putting the brain on fire doesn't do much of it. This 
some of these enemies don't show up anywhere else after this area. I mean, it's good when a game has weapon variety, you can actually choose which weapons you use, and not all of them are. Like, mandatory, I guess. Is that the way to, is that the way to word it? Or optimal? I mean, there's probably optimal weapons, but I don't really care that much. But when it comes to the Lapung weapon, I definitely prefer a uh, machine gun over there. It's probably not going to be a very good weapon against bosses, let's face it though. I'm going to run into Frankenstein here. Like the problem I have with the C4 is like you need it to blow up these doors, but I don't really like that because I like the incendiary grenades a lot more. By that's will I summon a god to usher your tattered soul to oblivion, behold and despair. And you gonna summon Anubis? Osiris? Actually it might be Anubis looking at this. Cheers he has. C4 up your ass, mate. See how your ancient gods like that. Come back here, I'm gonna shoot you. There we go. Oh, my C4. Can I pick? No, I can't pick it up. Just load it up. It's in the way there. Oh, I'm never going to dodge those, am I? I get like fire. Come back here. Oh, I know this move. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure all night had that, didn't it? I'm not sure if the flamethrower is doing a lot of weapons or damage of it, it just looks that way. Yeah, I should have dodged that, honestly. floor. <laughs> Rude. I would have dodged it if the floor didn't go up at that moment. Ah. Like, I think that stuff goes down in the way to hit you, but I've never really been in that area, so it kind of feels weird. Floor don't fuck me.
Sure, I'm getting hit by the fireballs, but those balls doesn't really feel all that menacing so far. Just kind of hope it's there. Bitch, what's that? What's that supposed to do? I uh, just need an Anubis. Overcome mortality. Huh? Do I go up or do I go down? Chat, why are these always here? Why are these platforms always here? I imagine I go in here for an upgrade or something. I want to take the incendiary uh, grenades with me. But. I'm going to need to see for. for uh... Oh, I'm out of flamethrower ammo. Oh. Yeah, they can't get that. to the next area and leave it at that with this game though for today. Save for the moment, any agents received message, I'm enough remains in a critical target might be eliminated. She's only so rough on the city creating an incalculable destruction and loss of life. Producer them cannot fail, mankind's final line of defense, that responsibility extends to our agents, I don't need to remind what happens if we should fail, we cannot. Still able to track her movements, send her location along this frequency. You must have hope I connect decisively. It kinda looks like a final area to me actually. Well, maybe there's still two areas. Because there was like an entire area under the, uh, the first place where I couldn't really get into. Okay, I think there was something up there, but it, yeah, it's gonna be rough to get there. It's not that you find out 90% of the game is optional. Wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Son of a bitch. I think the flamethrower has an effect on flying skulls. Or the fiery skulls even. I messed it up myself. Yeah, we can't make it without that. We will run from the other room. Hmm. 
I don't think that did much. I don't think that did much. Okay, yeah, that's... So jump twice, then fall, then kill the bug fast before you try to jump there. And I guess I can just throw C4 at his, uh, at his face. I'll see. Alright, made it. Horse brace and weapon power increased. Alright. Alright, crush the darkness, collect the horse brace. Go on ahead a little bit to see if we can find a safe room down. Cause that does sound like an, op an optional upgrade, doesn't it? But oh, okay, skeleton one. I should have given the skeleton one actually for this game. To be fair, I didn't know there were going to be skeletons. At least it's a fair assumption, I guess. Horse head in the background. Like, what, what, what the hell is, is weird about that? Well, I mean, on its own, it's weird, I guess, but. A CP moment right now, I guess. We need to contain this horse head before it breaks free and breaks up the block upon the world. High block upon the world. I guess. Oh, dusty. I mean, that might honestly be the last area of the game. Like, maybe just the one to the... to the right, but... for a safe room. No, there we go. I mean, it's just been three hours, so I guess another stream of this is definitely going to finish it, if this is the last area. Or one of the last two areas, maybe. It, it's, it's a fine game, it's a fine game. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but... On sales, probably definitely worth the five bucks, I imagine. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna look at the title here. Hold on a moment. Great. Uh, title screen, yes. All right. But yeah, this is this is fine so far. I'm having fun with this. It's definitely a little better than a movie, I can imagine. But all right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.